God damn, look at that. That's nice. Late summer is spring in West Texas. Spring here is just windy and crispy as shit. Late summer, after you get some good monsoon rains, is when it's really going off. Look at this. Look what we got here. Leucophyllum minus, okay? Leucophyllum frutescens, a.k.a. Siniso, you frequently see. You know, they even sell it at the fucking Home Depot and a big box stores. But that's a specific cultivar. It looks like shit compared to this. Look at this. This species, Leucophyllum minus, is a much more drought hardy one can just take it and the piss beat out of it by the sun and that dry wind and then it just lights up the whole fucking landscape look at that look at that oh god that's nice look at that holy shit gotta appreciate where you are quit pretending you're somewhere else look at those fucking mountains in the background too that is west texas man look at that god that fucking flower oh just lighting up unfazed by the wind you know, a lot of people, I don't know many people who, grow, who uh, sell this and grow it. Because everyone's selling the, uh, the frutescens, the larger leaf species. And not only that, but they're selling the frutescens. They're selling a fucking cultivar of it, not even the, the wild species one. So there's no genetic diversity in there. You see why they call them minus. Look at how tiny those leaves are. But if you want to grow this, you come find this. This will be uh, fruiting. It's a little dry capsule. The fruit's a little dry capsule. It'll be fruiting in probably, I don't know, eh, two or three months. You find that little dry capsule, the flowers will be falling, you know, will have fall off, fallen off, and there'll be a little dry capsule right there with a little style. It's the female part of the flower. The style persists hanging off of it. Grab that capsule. The seeds are fucking tiny. You know, you can even just, you know, just run your hand along the whole scape of the plant. And just uh, bag it up, grow them, they'll grow like hell. Look at that, there's those flowers. Look at that, that purple with that chalky mint green of the leaves. And it's nice, those flowers haven't opened yet. What a fucking great plant. Yet another underappreciated plant species from this beautiful landscape of West Texas. Got our Zinnia acerosa. Sydney tenuifolia, that's another great shrub that's not utilized enough. Love to see creosote in more landscapes too. Creosote bush. The leaves on that smell real nice, you know. That's what all those uh, Etsy witches put in their shower, you know. You just hang a, a dry branch from uh, the, the shower spigot because it smells really good when it gets a little bit of humidity in there. It really does. You know, I don't blame them. Hey man, look at that. <clears throat> God, what a fucking great plant. Look at that beast. Limestone and Leucophyllum minus. This lights up the landscape. Just another chalky mint green plant with incredible flowers. Ah, can't get enough of it. Fuck. I need more! <laughs> I need more of this shit. Oh, it feels so good to be out here and see this. Fucking hell. Especially at sunset. It's good medicine right there, huh? You fuck. Oh, there's some yucca. Germany, is that what that is? A yucca? Anyway, yeah, there's, uh, you can see there's a fruit on these already. Where'd it go? Yeah, see that? See that green thing? Well, it's like a yellow. It's like a greenish yellow. And it's got that style, it's got what looks like a little hair coming off the center. That's a fruit. And when that turns brown, probably in another eh, two to three weeks, the seeds inside will be good. You get that. So that thing was flowering uh, a few weeks ago. Flower fell off and that's the fruit in there. You got a superior ovary. It's above those sepals. But get those. Grow the shit out of this.